Welcome to another video tutorial. In the last video, we have run these fast QC reports on our SRA accessions data. And as you can see, these fast QC reports, one of them show the high quality sequence, so it, it do not require any trimming. But as you can see, the second report, which has actually the low base sequence quality, so it needs trimming. So as we know, uh, for RNA sequence, data analysis we have learned that in in rna -SIC pipeline we use trimometric for trimming and uh, we also know that that if we want to perform high set or trimming so it is better to use linux environment or max system so as we are using windows so today i will tell you how we can generate windows subsystem of linux in your own windows system it is very simple and we don't need to buy like any linux based system or we don't need to buy any macbook so uh, let me show you how you can install wsl wsl stand for windows subsystem of linux so first of all uh, you can go to this search option in your windows option and as you can see actually previously we uh, were doing our coding in command prompt but as you can see once you will write in windows 11 so you see here we have the terminal so once you will uh, open this terminal so it will ask you to uh, write your code so now we will use this terminal to install WSL but you need to make sure you are connected to the internet so once you are connected to the good quality internet uh, you can just write WSL minus minus install and you can just simply press enter so you see now it has started to inst installing the Windows subsystem for Linux it may take few minutes so uh, you see now it is just installing WSL kernel and you see now it is also downloading GUI app and support so once it will finish downloading and installing it will ask to reboot so let's wait until it asks to reboot and we will restart the computer and I will meet you again So you see uh, now it is asking the requested operation is useful changes will not be effective until the system is rebooted so what we can do we can simply just go here and we can restart the computer so you see now we are back to our system and our system has been restarted and uh, you will see that your system is customizing and updating few files after the restart but that it be done so after uh, it has been started so you can go to this uh, search option and you can open this microsoft store and after opening this microsoft store we can search for ubuntu so uh, let's uh, refresh this page yeah you see here so now we need to just write ubuntu so here are the different versions of ubuntu you can install any app but it is better if you can select the latest one as here you can see as of today on 16 9 2024 so this is the latest version available so even if you will install this one so no problem we can update it through this terminal so we will simply click on this cat so you see it has started to acquire and download this app so we need to wait until this ubuntu downloading and installation is complete so you see here now it has started to download so let's wait until its downloading is finished Yeah, you see now our downloading is finished and it is asking to uh, just launch your Ubuntu so after it has been started so you can just simply launch your Ubuntu and if this option is not visible so you can simply go here and you can write Ubuntu 
and you can just simply run as administrator so you can click on this so this system will automatically open and now it will take time to install the different features so as you can see this is showing message that installing this may take a few minutes so you see after uh, it has finished installing so it will ask you to create a linux username so let me write my name okay so i need to write asif yeah so now it will ask to create a password so once you will enter the password nothing will appear on the on the screen but no problem because the password are actually not shown so we can just enter to yeah i have entered uh, four characters so actually those uh, password will not appear on the screen so no worries so let me repeat this yeah you see our password is updated successfully and installation is successful so uh, you see here uh, welcome to ubuntu 24 so now uh, you see this message is shown once a week so now we can just update using uh, this uh, sudo apt and update so we need to update the different features of uh, ubuntu so we need to write this code sudo apt update so we, we will click on this so it will ask you uh, to write your password which we have just set here so i have and will enter my four characters so you see now it has started uh, to download few more files so it will enable and download all the latest features which are required to run linux system in wsl so you see now it has first uh, different files and now it is ready to go so uh, our Linux system is ready we can just simply uh, finish this and we can go back to uh, we can finish this and now our Windows uh, system for Linux is ready so what we can do we can simply go again to the terminal and uh, after we will go to the terminal we will click on this arrow so you see here here you can see we have ubuntu 24 so you see this is actually uh, the ubuntu system in which i mean which is all based on the unix system so you see uh, let's see where we are so we can write uh, power directory so we will see where we actually are so you see here we are on the home and asset so actually in the in the um, in the linux system so there is no like uh, local disk c d e and f so there is uh, actually only one main home and then we have like uh, next directory so here in the unix system a folder is called as directory so in the home button so you see it has created uh, one folder that is actually asif so uh, so in the follow on videos we can actually learn how we can use this system of linux to run high set and uh, trimometric so hopefully now you can create a wsl in your windows system so until next video bye bye